Uh, my name is Eli Fryrick. We're out. We're out at Coney Island. A beautiful day in the late midish February, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, take some pictures and talk about movies. Some nice. Uh, there's some seagulls going on over here. So I'm gonna try to sort of document that. It's good stuff. It's a beautiful day. There's lots of people, you know, out enjoying themselves. So who are some of your biggest influences? Um, I'd say like me. You know, I think I'm a, I'm like a pretty big influence on myself. I really, I like the way that I, uh, you know, show, convey emotions in my, in my uh, movies. So that's, that's something that I'm all about. This is nice. This really, to me, speaks of like, you know, it's, it's good colors. What made you want to get into film and movies? I just want to be famous, you know? So why, why this over any other sort of fame-based career? Sorry, what'd you say? You said why what? Why this instead of any other fame-based career? I don't know, it's pretty fun, I guess. It's like, good. It's a good one. It's going good about that. I'm shooting on a, not that, that says Delta, but it's actually Portra. 400, so it's like some pretty, pretty good film, I guess. You know, chicks like the camera. They ask me about it a lot. See that? That's art. That's art right there. Don't touch it. So who's your target demographic right now? It's like humans. Yeah. Or no, no, not humans actually. Just that roller coasters. You mean like my, like my art, like my work? Or what am I taking pictures of? Who, who wants to see your art the most? Who is it for? Like, dyslexic girls aged 11 to 12. That's really what I'm going for. How do you choose your subjects? Just like what looks good. I'm from uh, this little town called Asheville in uh, an exotic and faraway place called North Carolina. And you know, they do things a little differently there. What caused you to move here? Oh, just like... Just like not wanting to, uh, to live there anymore. When was the first time you ever got your hands on a camera? Um, <clears throat> I was like, I don't know, pretty young. Uh, but my mom had this. Oh. So what can you tell me about your uh, your debut film, Sandwich Days? Um, Sandwich Days, in my opinion, is really just the. A masterpiece. It's like the the pinnacle of American cinema, I think. Um, you know, like the dramatic relationships that that happen in the, in that film were really close to me. So I feel like I was really able to, uh, you know, like leave my mark on the on the film movement currently happening in, in New York City and around the world. What so, would you say was the underlying message to it? Ah, uh, you know, like. I think that suicide is something that you can, you know, it's not, it's not a, it's not a sin or anything. I think that people are, uh, it's very taboo, but I think it's one of the more beautiful examples of the, the human psyche, like the ability to have the power to self-destruct is, is a thing that, uh, that, that no other animal has. And, and I think that that's something important. That, uh, that shows us the, the true power and potential we have as sentient beings. And something that I think everybody's wondering is what kind of sandwich was it in that film? I don't know. I don't know. 
my production designer did it and I thought it looked good so it was like a like turkey yeah I guess it was I, I think it was turkey and maybe also roast beef I'm not sure and then the, the way that the sandwich was layered is I think indicative of uh, you know problems with like multiple multiple uh, personality disorders so yeah it was a, it was a really powerful film it was a really, really fun six months shooting that. Really, really fun. It's the saddest palm tree I've ever seen right there. So how did you get your start in the film industry? Well, I just started hanging out at this film school at Battery Park. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Were you... A student of the school? Oh, I just hung out there. I go and like sit in the editing lab and just sort of chill until people asked me if I wanted to work on their movies. And I said, yeah. Then I worked on their movies and then I worked on my movies and then they worked on my movies. That's good stuff. That's a true story too. That's a good one. That's my favorite think, thing out here. What do you think about Paul's daughter? <laughs> it's really, really small. They both do. She's alright though, isn't she? Look at the... I mean... <laughs> she looks to be about eight. So I reckon not. You know what I mean? She's got some pokies. That's kind of fucked up. I don't know. I don't think so, dude. I think... I think she's just fat. I think you're wrong. So just again about your film sandwich days um do yeah. you at least know what kind of like lettuce was on the sandwich no i mean not really okay well i mean what was what was sort of the, like motivation of um, the like the sandwich character in the film i don't know let's uh let's talk let's talk about something else we, we already talked we already kind of talked about um sandwich days At the very least, can you just tell the viewers like what kind of bread was on the sort of on the sandwich Dude, in sandwich days? I don't know. Let's stop talking well, about we, fucking sandwich we, days. We just stop, wanna... just stop talking about it. Just stop talking about it. What kind of video right, format? Shut the fuck up.